Hey everybody, this is Vanta Retro. Let's get to it. First, you want to open up DaVinci Resolve, import the clip that you want to stabilize, trim the clip to only what is necessary to be in the clip. This will make the stabilization process easier. It also will make your color grading or whatever other effects you're trying to apply to the clip easier to do because the shorter the clip, less processing for the computer, which is important when you're shooting in raw footage and this camera gyro stabilization will only work if you're shooting in B-RAW. So if you're shooting in any other format besides B-RAW, you're not going to have this option. So use the camera gyro stabilization for Blackmagic cameras. After you've imported your clip, trimmed it, go over to stabilization option under video options, and you want to go down to the last one, which is camera gyro. By default, it'll be set to perspective, so you want to go down to this last option, Camera Gyro, and click Stabilize. Once you have your clip selected, just click the Stabilize button. And depending on the clip and your computer, it will take less or more time. That did it fairly quickly, but once again, I trimmed it first, so that helped. It helps to shoot with a wider angle if you're planning to stabilize the shot in post. Uh, that's something that you will... Thank yourself for later. If you're using a wider angle lens, it gives you a wider shot, which gives you more picture for the computer to be able to stabilize. So regardless of whatever form of stabilization you're using in post, whether you're using perspective, similarity, translation, camera gyro, or you're using a different program like Premiere Pro's uh, warp stabilizer, or even shooting with a Sony camera and using some of their stabilization software, the wider angle lens that you use will make the process easier. But as you can see, it's fairly simple to do with a Blackmagic camera in DaVinci Resolve. And this particular shot, I was actually walking backwards with the camera. I was trying to do the ninja walk and keep it stable, and I used a wide angle lens, but I got a passable result here. Once again, it's an easy process. So the takeaway for this is you need to plan your shots accordingly if you're going to use stabilization in post. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, this has been Vanta Retro, encouraging you to go out and be amazing.